Hey guys, I am at some Bureau land management area and I'm just out here on a pretty weather day. It's really windy, very gusty, you see really cloudy. Um, it's been raining pretty much everywhere else uh, except for here. So just testing out some equipment. Here is a Butler Creek easy loader for the 1022 Max. As you can see I already have it pre-filled two different kinds of ammunition. I think I have some Federal Bolt Hollow Point 36 grain and some CCI precision shooting which I'm running out of. But um, what you do is you lift the cover out and it just slides out like that and you put in roughly you know a handful about 50 bullets in there throw them in and you shake them like so and then the bullets will line up in a row down this duct and then you put your magazine in and you turn this knob slowly but surely and there's a certain kind of technique that I've learned that works best for me and maybe it's the loader the quality of the loader that I got maybe there's inconsistencies in the manufacturing but here I have my 1022 stock 10 round magazine and this is advertised for the hot lips or steel lips and it says so on the side so they're expecting to use only their magazines I assume but uh, I can tell you that it at least works for the stock 10 round if you have some of these laying around as well um, I mean that's the main advantage is when you get those 25 30 round clips um, using this loader, save your thumb a little bit. And you can see on the knob, it just says load, turning it clockwise, and then retain. And that's all you need to do. Sometimes you have to retain if it doesn't go in so smoothly. Um, in general, you're, you're going to keep turning it clockwise and keep loading. So I'm going to put in an empty mag in a second. So here I have an empty. 10 round stock 1022 magazine and I'm going to use the Butler Creek 1022 hot lips steel lips loader and the way uh, you want to look at it is using this little notch and you can see that slides in right here and then the back part will have room for this notch so sticking in the pointier smaller end uh, from the side and then from the side you just pivot it inward and then you have a retention clip right there and you could use that I don't recommend pushing it all the way down because yeah, as you're using it you might need to take it out so just just enough to lock it in and then down here my technique is to make sure there's a couple bullets and it's good to have a little extra. I mean only 10 will go into this clip but you want the weight of the other bullets kinda slowly pressing it down. I kinda have it at a downward angle um, for, cam for camera purposes it's gonna be horizontal so what I'm gonna do is just slowly move the knob and try to see if it'll push a bullet into it And right now there's tension on the knob, so what you do is you pull it back to retain the bullet and push it back forward again. And it did put a bullet inside. And then I'm going to rotate it slowly until another bullet falls into place. And I know it's hard to see, this is smoke, not necessarily clear plastic. But you'll see the bullet drop in there and you can try pull, pushing it, turning the knob. So now there's tension again pull it back to retain it and push it forward and it's going to turn fully to the click and keep going forward until you feel a little bit of tension obviously you don't want to keep turning until it breaks or you bend a bullet turn it back and forward and of course it's going to be a little bit better if I hold it right so I'm just going to keep going bullets are slowly loading in I'm going to keep hearing the clicky sound and then once you get to the point where it's too much tension and you push it back, you push it forward that went in, but keep it forward 
once you get to the point where you're pushing it, torquing it, you can't move anymore, and then you go back, and you can't move it anymore, and you go forward again, it's not moving. Usually you have a full clip, so don't keep forcing it. You're going to bend a bullet or break the loader or break the mag. So now I'm going to move the retention clip all the way, pivot the mag out, and as you can see, and you can feel the weight. Um, this one you can't see how many is loaded in there. What you could do to double check is just take another bullet and try to load it in. And I can't get this in, so this is in fact fully loaded. And that's how you use the Butler Creek. So you're going to be wanting to play around with the knob going back and forth um, with a little bit of tension, nothing hard. You don't want to break the loader, bend the bullet, or ruin your magazine. So. It's a little bit finicky, but it's definitely worth it, and uh, your mileage may vary, and I, I hold it this looking down from the side, and just you can see the bullet slowly fall in as you turn it. Thanks for watching.